Hey guys, Cody here for the Advanced Footprint Blueprint by Nanovoxel. This is for Unreal Engine version 4.14. And today in this video, I want to show you guys how to integrate the component into your character. Okay, so what I've done is set up an example project. And I have also opened up the Advanced Footprint Blueprint project. So with the AFB project open, I'm going to select the AFB folder, right click, select Migrate, hit OK. Then I'm going to find my new project. Select the content folder and hit OK. Once that's migrated, I can close out of the AFB project. Next, open up your new character. Then under Add Component, type in Footprint, and it should pop up for you. Add that, compile, and save. The next thing you're going to need to do is search for Anim and open up the example animation blueprint and copy over all the code in this blue box and this is under the event graph of the blueprint next you're going to open up your character's animation blueprint make sure you go to the event graph and simply paste that in then you're going to head over to your animation. You can hit stop on the timeline. Select your run animation. Then using the timeline here, select the location when your right foot hits the ground. Right click up here under notifies. Hit add notify. New notify. Put in a name like right foot hit. Then using the bar down here, navigate to the left foot hit location. Do the same thing, add notify, new notify, left. Oops. Not sure if I can rename it, I'll just delete it. Add notify, new notify, left foot hit. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go into your walk animation and do the same thing. However, this time we can just use the existing one that we've already created. Right foot hit. Left foot hit. And you're also going to want to do this in your jump and wherever else you find it uh, to be useful. Okay, save that. Head back over to your blueprint. Then we're going to right click on the graph and type in right foot hit, left foot hit. And we're going to replace these event notifies. We can delete the old ones, compile and save. Okay, next thing we want to do is open up the footprint component and on the event graph, head over to the area where it says add sockets to skeleton. Now these sockets determine where the footprints are placed. Currently, it gets the ball of the foot and the toe of the foot finds the location in between the two and that's where the decals are placed. So if you have a unique skeleton that say only has one socket on the foot, you're going to want to use that socket for both of these left foot locations. Now it's important to update this name properly because this will determine if your footprint is placed or not. Compile and save. If you uh, just a note, if you're using the default UE4 skeleton, 
you don't have to change these. Next, you're going to want to open up the example map. So you can select AFB folder, type in map. And we're going to open up this overview map. Make sure to save selected. Now, before we test, we need to go into the settings, world settings. Then under game mode, we're going to select our new character third person character and hit play and everything should be working properly make sure to give it a run through to test that uh, everything's working as it should now one thing to notice is with this custom character and custom material the snow is no longer being applied to the material itself I'll be covering this in a later video, but if you're interested in this effect, I uh, ask you to go and examine the default character material that I use and notice the lerp applied to it, as well as in each of the material types themselves. So for example, in the footprint snow type, you can set up the body track material here. One final note in integration is to get the same effects with the snow and other 3D materials, you're going to, you're going to need to update your light settings to match the example map. So here you want to check out the directional light and the sky light find all of the settings indicated with this yellow icon and make sure that they match your settings. That's going to give you the best lighting setting for these 3D footprints to make them the most visible. Okay guys, that's going to do it for the advanced footprint integration into a custom character. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to post a comment under this video. Or hit me up on Twitter at NanoVoxel and I'll be happy to respond and help you with any questions or concerns you guys have. Also important to note, uh, there's been a bunch of major optimization updates to 4.14. So I encourage you to uh, download the newest version, take a look and uh, explore uh, some of the new additions because as you can see here, there's been LOD tessellation optimization added, as well as a bunch of new features. So check that out. My name's Cody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.